Well, I've been to a lot of countries in South America, quite a lot of countries in uh, Africa. I've been in the high Arctic, I've been in the Amazon basin. I've worked in uh, the lowest point on Earth, and I've been up in 20,000 feet in the Andes. I've spent the last 26 years traveling around the world. Yet when I come home, I can't wait to go back out into the countryside, out into nature again. And the best way of doing that is to, to visit nature reserves, such as local wildlife trust reserves. You've seen this great event happening in Africa or in Indonesia. But when you come back here and you start rummaging around in the ponds and looking at all the larvae in the water and all the amphibians and these little circles of life going on, it's exactly the same. The same stories are happening, but they're happening right here in our own backyard. So it seems right and proper to go out there and start documenting these things. So a group of us are going to spend spare time out documenting the wildlife which is in our area. I mean, just yesterday I was uh, filming uh, uh, toads spawning. I've never seen it uh, before in such numbers. And I was using a camera that can film underwater and that was, I was getting some great stuff. You don't necessarily have to go out into a nature reserve, which they were fantastic. It's great to do that, but also, as urban as Bristol is, you know, some fantastic wildlife spectacles to be seen there as well. Last year, I spent the summer filming urban peregrine falcons, and just basically spent a couple of weeks in the morning and the evening on the top of a car park in central Bristol. You can get more, much more urban than this and just witness some of the most incredible wildlife behaviour all above the heads of local Bristolians. It's a well-known spot for these peregrines. They've been nesting on this building for several years. I didn't actually see any kills. That's a really hard thing to, to film. What I did see is them having already made a kill in its talons, flying off with it, make, they make this great squawking noise to kind of signal to the chicks that they've, they're coming in with a kill. And then they would put it down and you'd see the, the chick calling to say, you know, can I have my turn, can I have my turn? But the adult just had its fill and plucking the feathers out, they're going everywhere and uh, just lots of really funny, you know, in close-up seeing like the legs disappearing down the peregrine's throat. It's quite entertaining. Once they've had their fair share after the big energetic hunt, they then took off with it and usually in hot pursuit with the chicks. And what you'd actually see is the adults would drop it and then the chicks, they'd catch the prey mid-air. You know, even if you're just, you know, having a wander through the city centre on your lunch break and that's the only time you get to sit and have a look around, then you could witness um, some fantastic natural history events that, you know, you'd otherwise just only see on television.